Well, you can see that lampooning is the name of the game here. And joining us now is our political analyst, New York Post State Editor Fred Dicker, to talk more about the show. And Fred, um, I guess, uh, what is it they say about it? as long as they spell your name right or if you're represented <laughs> at an event like this, that's a, that's a credit to you in some way. Well, it was certainly a fair satire, Liz. <laughs> this show has been going on for 114 years straight. It's a really historic uh, event. It's a tradition in American journalism to have a little fun at the politicians' expense. Of course, we know about it going in Was on in Washington all the time with the Washington Press Club dinner, the Gridiron, and other associations. There used to even be one over in Troy when Troy had a vibrant uh, print uh, news business. It doesn't any longer. There's a lot to be said for it. Both the governor and Rob Astorino, who spoke for the Republicans, submitted their own videos. They were funny. Some were funnier than others. But it's a nice tradition. It's a chance for the politicians to uh, hear what maybe the press really thinks about them, because while it's couched in satirical, funny terms, it really does have a lot of truth to it. And when you look back over the years, some of the most famous political figures in America, Teddy Roosevelt, Franklin Roosevelt, Mario Cuomo, uh, you name the person, uh, Nelson Rockefeller, were figures in these shows. And if you go back and look at the programs, which have the actual songs from that period, you really can learn a lot about history. Because that, after all, I mean, it's, it's loosely in some kind of a framework so that you can just sing sort of s satirical songs about different aspects. What was, the, what was the theme or the message of this year's? I mean, what were, what were they really being critical of? I, I'm assuming maybe the, the governor's sort of distance from the press. Is that part of it? Sure. Well, there always is a storyline. There are usually two acts and then a kind of a news break in between with funny uh, one-liners. Uh, the large theme this year was that we have a bunch of monsters who've been unleashed on the people of New York. And if you look at the cover of the program for the show, you see Governor Cuomo with a couple of bolts in his neck like the <laughs> Frankenstein monster. I would note that the governor kept up his practice of not sitting, not attending the show. He did show up for the cocktail party reception beforehand, but he didn't stick around. Maybe you've got a thin skin when it comes to this kind of satire. But Astorino was there, the Republican candidate, and he did a very good job presenting what's known as the uh, Republican response to the show. All right, Fred. Well, thank you for that. We'll okay. uh, look forward to seeing what they do about you next year. And okay. uh, in the meantime, Fred will be on the radio as well, live from the state capitol weekday mornings, 10 to 11 on Talk 1300 AM.